Hey everybody, welcome back to Inner Angler Fishing. I'm your host, Chris Gogan, and today we're back at Spruce Creek, searching for whatever it wants to hit. We did pretty well here last time we were here, which was, I think, four days ago. Uh, so, got some jacks, ladyfish, hooked a tarpon, Spanish mackerel. So, we're gonna see what we can find today. Uh, beautiful morning, sun's just cresting the horizon. About seven o'clock in the morning. First light was at 7:10. So actually, it's about 7:30. Um, but yeah, we're gonna throw around a, a little Yozuri uh, twitch bait, and we're gonna dry some top water, maybe some paddle tails. But other than that, uh, stay tuned. Let's see what we can do today. Looks like we're slacking out. Uh, I think it's the uh, almost low tide got a dolphin playing off her bow which is going to make fishing a little more difficult always nice to see wildlife out here though i think the lure i'm using right now is uh the yozuri 3ds real small bait um you can either work it as a twitch bait or just a straight retrieve it does have the little bill on the front i'm hoping as the current picks up the uh mackerel move in they like to work the bridge lines, shadow lines and whatnot in the bridges. Now we're pretty close to the new moon. So once this tide gets ripping, I am going to get some exercise. I'm gonna need to try to hold in the current just with my pedal drive. Ooh, there's one. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Spinning me around a little bit here. What do we got? What do we got? Jack. Come on. Slippery little bugger. All right, start of the day. We're gonna keep a couple of these later. I'm not gonna keep them right now. I just got here. I plan on staying for several hours. A little on the early side to be keeping fish. I've mentioned it on uh, previous videos. Jacks have such a bad reputation. A lot of people think they're garbage fish, trash. They're tasty if you cook them right. They're a lot of fun. They are actually one of my favorite Florida fish to target. All right, we're getting close to bridge two. I'm seeing some fish jumping up here. I can't really tell what they are yet. Ooh, almost instantly. There's the dolphin. Oh, right there. That's a Spanish. I'm gonna grab the net. I'm gonna find the net. Nice. All right. Pull him out. Get a measure on him too. Looks like he might be a little on the small side. We might throw him back. We're not sure yet. Whoa. Self-release. Come here, buddy. He's right at 12. We're gonna let him go. I want some that are a little bit bigger than that. What's nice about Spanish mackerel is they typically school up, so do jacks. So usually when you find one or two, there's a lot more. We just wanna find the bigger ones. All right, so I found a school of Spanish feeding in this current. Now I just gotta see if I can get them to feed. Oh, there's one right there. That might be a trout. 
Nope, oh, Spanish. All right, a little smaller than we were looking for, but at least he found a few more to play with. I'm gonna grab my uh, pliers. So I kind of back myself up here. Easy, easy, easy. It's slippery, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was a good hit. That's what we're looking for. Oh yeah. Come here. Much better fish. Much better fish. These guys thrash around a lot. That's what we're looking for. I know he's not the only one in here. Alright. He's gonna go in the cooler. So that hit on um, twitched and varied. Moderate fast retrieve. Ooh, here's one. Swimming right at me. Smaller one. We're gonna let this one go. Spanish mackerel is just so much fun. Like I said, they school up, so you got plenty to play with. Find the right size and the right uh, delivery, and you can play with them for hours, especially in a kayak. You can follow them around. Like if you're fishing the pier, like they'll come into Sebastian Inlet quite a bit. But uh, they'll come in, and then they'll leave. Then they'll come in, then they'll leave. They move around. And these guys are uh, they're feeding right on the surface probably eating little glass minnows so I just got to watch for the jumps and follow them around all morning if I want to Ooh, that was a good hit I right, backed up that's a nice fish Spanish not a jack. Yeah, it is. Ho, ho, ho. Yeah, buddy. Maybe hook them in the side, but it's still a good sized fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, back under the boat. Trick netting. Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking for. Come on. But, yeah, that's a nice Spanish. That's what we're Whoa! Oh, almost dropped them. He also almost bit my leg. All right. All right. So when in doubt about rules and regulations, always look. I'm second guessing myself. I'm pretty sure legal 12. I might be wrong, but I have an app that I recommend. It's not endorsed or anything like that. It's just an app I've been using for years. It is called nice and simple fish rules what it does is it uses your gps location to where you're fishing right now and it'll pull up the local rules and regulations for fishing right where you're sitting so especially in florida where rules will change from county to county sometimes uh it's really nice to have so i know wherever i'm sitting right now it's going to tell me exactly what i can and cannot keep all right so mackerel comma spanish mackerel king mackerel spanish I was right, bag limit is 15, seat is open, 12 inch minimum size inside of the fork. So the inside of the V of the fork is what I'm looking for. I was starting to second guess myself, always be safe. Uh, the rules are there for a reason. It's so that we can fish for years to come. These fish aren't gonna go anywhere. They're not gonna get outfished, overfished. Uh, I know like down here, you know, there's been uh, times where, you know, you, oh, that was quick you've had uh you know issues with overfishing of your your main game species your snook that's a little guy you know snook reds and trout which is why you guys have 
uh, limits, not only on size and um, creel limit, but you guys use a slot, and I think that's fantastic. I think all game fish should have slot limits. Um, I think, you know, it, it, it keeps the breeders breeding, you know, the bigger fish, and uh, it still gives you the opportunity to enjoy yourself for years to come. All right, everybody, I think that does it for me. Great day out on the water, plenty of Spanish mackerel. I got a cooler full to go home and clean. Found plenty of jacks to play with. Uh, got into a real big one that towed me around a bit off camera. Sorry about that, We uh, our batteries died. Um, but a great day. Uh, that Yozuri 3DS is definitely a great lure. You can get them at Walmart. Uh, I'm sure uh, Dick's uh, Bass Pro carry them. They're not expensive. Uh, if you're gonna go fishing for Spanish mackerel, definitely uh, recommend those. Uh, 40 pound uh, leader line definitely helped. Uh, didn't break off that much. I lost one, one broke off, and then I, I have another one that actually it hit hard enough and ripped the, the rear treble out. So I don't even know what that was. But anyways, great, great time out there. Uh, I had a blast filming today, had a great time fishing. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, hit that little bell, that'll let you know when we release videos. We're trying to do them roughly once a week. Uh, and uh, if you like the video, please click that like button. We'd appreciate it. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, uh, leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But other than that, I'm going to go get something to drink and get some food. So until next time, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.